The Sims team released a statement about five hours ago stating that they would not be releasing the My Wedding Stories game pack for The Sims 4 in Russia. Under current Russian law, any content that represents homosexuality as normal in society is prohibited and labelled as propaganda. If you're watching this video and you don't even play The Sims 4, The Sims 4 is basically a life simulation game. A part of life simulation is romance relationships. Currently Sims are pansexual, which basically means they'll date anybody no matter their gender identity or sex. Even though The Sims 4 is considered a teen plus game in most regions, in Russia it's considered an 18 plus game. The reason why this specific game pack in question is not being released in Russia is simply because of the trailer. The content marketing and the branding of the trailer shows the storyline of two women getting married. Although that's something that we've always been able to do in The Sims 4, this is the first time it's actually been shown in a trailer and be used for marketing. With The Sims team releasing a statement, a letter to our players from The Sims team. Yesterday we introduced you to The Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack and along with it to Dominique and Camille, a couple whose love knows no boundaries. Today we want to explain the decision we've made to not release this pack in Russia. They went on to say as we move through our development and brand storytelling process we became aware that the way we wanted to tell Cam and Dom's story would not be something that we could freely share around the world. The ability to tell stories, any story, is at the core of what we do at The Sims. Holding back Cam and Dom's story meant compromising the values we live by and we are committed to the freedom to be who you are and to love who you love and to tell the stories you want to tell. Regret Regrettably, this means that members of the Sims community in Russia will not be able to purchase this game pack. The purpose of this video was to represent my personal thoughts and commentary on the Sims team's reaction, not to necessarily to discuss Russia and their laws or be political. It's very, very rare in the video gaming industry that video games represent gay people. Even when they do represent gay people, it's not often in a positive light or it's in a very stereotypical light or it's always a side character or a random NCP and never anybody significant. As far as far as I'm aware, The Sims is the only game that has real freedom of LGBT representation. I don't know any other game that lets you to choose your gender, gender identity, your sex, that changes so many different aspects of who you are. They're also releasing a custom pronoun update soon. Although other games as well, like Stardew Valley for example, have a romance system which is basically pansexual too. It's very, very rare outside of simulation games in general to have any form of healthy LGBT representation representation. Let's be honest, the reason why most game developers don't have LGBT characters is because they don't want situations like this to happen, which I understand from a business perspective. You don't want to be seen as compromising your values by changing your game to release in other regions so that you can make more money, but at the same time, you do still want to make the money as a business. So from that perspective, it's so much easier for video game developers just to not have gay people in their games, which is really, really sad. One thing I've admired about The Sims is that it never compromises on its values. One thing a lot of companies do in general, not just video game developers but all companies, is have LGBT representation when it suits them and it suits their marketing, not because it genuinely comes to the benefit of gay people. I remember last year during Gay Pride Month how many companies were putting the rainbow flag on their logos, were selling rainbow flag products and this was just a marketing thing. It's not something that they were really doing to promote equality in my opinion, it's something that they were doing to simply make money. I also have a similar opinion about Black History Month. Companies will promote black people during this month but then they won't on any other month during the year. It's like why would you only promote a certain category of people in only one specific month or during one specific period and that's simply because it's a promotion. In The Sims it's never really be considered a promotion, it's never considered something to hide, it's just normalised and I really hope in video games in the future that being gay is just normalised. LGBT representation has come such a long way in TV shows and movies and in so many different kinds of media. Unfortunately, I do believe that a lot of video games are still lacking and falling behind. My hope in the future is that video game developers are not scared of losing money or having to change just by not having a video game released in a certain region, but that's my opinion on the matter. I want to keep this video positive, so if I do see any hate comments or rude comments, I am going to delete them and shadow ban you from my channel. Of course, I do want to see your commentary and criticism too, but as I said, before, this is a video about The Sims team's reaction to the content not to be a political video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye!